I'm going to listen to Shalak to All Trains, which is 28 minutes of absolute rock awesomeness. It was a very sad day when Steve Albini left us, but he left us with a true classic to finish what has been an amazing career with. Track one, WSOD, you know you're in for a good time. You know you're in for a bit of Steve Albini, minimal production, brilliant rock and roll, just like Big Black the first time I heard it many, many moons ago. Thank you, Jen, for introducing me. Track two, Girl From Outside. I think when an artist dies and it's released an album just after you listen out for little hints that they may have known what was going on, Steve had no idea. He is just, I don't care, I'm doing rock and roll and by God he Track three, Chick New Wave. What I've always loved about Steve Albini is his no-nonsense attitude. Get the band, practice a lot, get your song down, get in the studio, record it hard, get down the pub. Brilliant. Track four, Tattoos, he was 61 when he dies, and this music has the energy and principles of a 16-year-old garage band. No doubt about his legacy, no doubt at all. The man was genius. Track five, Wednesday, more dark and brooding, even with a sort of Black Sabbath feel. And he just always surrounded himself with brilliant musicians who just got the job done. I love him in a three-piece, always have. Just a perfect sound for him. Track six, Scrappers Will Be Pirates. If there was no Steve Albini, uh, you could argue there'd be no Pixies, there'd be no Nirvana even. Of course, there'd be no In Ultra, and it's not sounding like it did, and we thank him for all of it. Track seven, Days Are Dogs, more brilliance, more... It's ev you hear every instrument. You've got the drums, the bass, the guitar, the voice. Everything is important. Everything works brilliantly, and if you concentrate on any of them, they're epic. Track eight, How I Wrote, How I Wrote, Elastic Man. I'm a pacifist, I'm an easygoing fella, but this music just makes me a little bit more angry, and I'm glad about that. You need a little bit of anger in your life. You need a bit of rah, and this is it. Track nine, Scabby the Rat. It's not all about anger. There is humour there. There's always been humour around his music. Scabby the Rat cooks all your potatoes. How is that for an opening line? Any opening line that is Scabby the Rat cooks all your potatoes is all right by me. Tenth and final track, I Don't Feel Hell. If there was any clue that he might know about his impending demise, it's if there's a heaven, I hope they're having fun. If there's a hell, I'm going to know everyone. What a, what a lyric to have in the last song. I have a review of Shellac to All Trains is that it could not be a more perfect ending to a wonderful, interesting, groundbreaking, amazing career that this man has. Do not underestimate Steve Albini.